We want to find the most distant galaxies in the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope has now shown us 15 galaxies that existed before the Big Bang and the hunt for the oldest galaxies in the universe may be on. Since its launch, the telescope has been blowing our minds with new, impossible discoveries and sensations. The world of science is at a loss and new explanations are needed. It never gets boring with James Webb. This telescope is a miracle of technology and the revolutionary of natural science. Fifteen galaxies, beautifully shaped and seemingly older than the universe itself, not only set distance records, but also overturned common models of galaxy evolution in the early universe. Since the summer of 2022, the reports have been coming thick and fast. Galaxies so old that they are impossible. The Big Bang has been disproved. Science is at a loss. What is really going on in research, and what can we expect in the future? The Webb mission is only just beginning, and the new super telescope has so far only provided us with a single image of the early universe. It will continue, and we may soon find ourselves speechless before even more impossible phenomena, monster black holes that are older than the universe, and galaxies that break all the rules of physics. How old is the universe really? Did you believe that our universe is 13.8 billion years old and was created from a huge explosion? Although the theories were consistent, there were always doubts. If we look closely, we have recently found more and more evidence of inconsistencies in the expansion, misinterpretations of distances, and corrections to the age of the universe. James Webb is now only ending a discussion that began a long time ago. Thanks to ever-improving technologies, we have apparently been able to understand the age of the universe more and more reliably. But those who have paid close attention have also found evidence that scientists are guessing more than they know. The age of the universe was corrected three times until we arrived at the current 13.8 billion years, and Webb now shows us that this is also wrong. A central topic in the discussion about the true age of the universe and the distance of galaxies has always been the phenomenon of redshift. Redshift refers to the elongation of light waves to longer, reddish values. The values determined were usually interpreted as a measure of the speed at which a galaxy is moving away from us. The greater the redshift, the faster the movement, and the further away the galaxy is. This observation has long been one of the key pillars of the expanding universe theory. But now this redshift of all things is being put to the test. It may have been misunderstood from the very beginning. We do not know how dust, gas, and other interstellar matter can influence the light on its way to us, resulting in color values that we may have misinterpreted. The Swiss Fritz Wicke came up with another exciting idea that paints a completely different picture of red light. Around 100 years ago, he postulated that light undergoes a change as it travels through space because it undergoes minimal fatigue. Zwicky's theory states more precisely that the redshift is not caused by the expansion of the universe, but by the interaction of light with matter or radiation fields in space, which causes the light to lose energy and become redshifted. In plain language, this means that the source and the observer are not moving away from each other, which would mean that the idea of expansion is gone. What would this mean in practical terms? The question can be answered in several interesting ways. Firstly, it would mean that space does not expand from a starting point. This would also mean that the idea of the Big Bang would be gone, and with it the idea of how the universe will end one day. Here we have so far the Big Rip, which is caused by overexpansion because the universe has expanded too far. The Big Freeze says that the expansion will have robbed the universe of all its power at some point, causing it to freeze. And the Big Crunch tells us that the universe will break up at some point. Expansion is also supposed to be to blame here. But what if it doesn't exist now? Then we might be living in an infinite universe after all. In a bubble universe, or in a 12-dimensional universe, of which we can only describe a very small part with our current physics. Can we find out the true age of the universe? Of course, this raises the exciting question of whether we will ever be able to find out the true age of the universe or its size. At the moment, we don't know whether we will succeed. It's possible that new spaces and surprises are constantly opening up and that we will never come to a beginning and an end with our research. Just think, 500 or 600 years ago, 
people still thought the Earth was a disk. Then, even astronomers thought the Sun revolved around the Earth. And today, we look an incredible 13 billion light years into a cosmos that never ends and surprises us again and again with completely new things. Anyone looking for solid explanations and evidence will be disappointed, but anyone who loves new things and mysteries will get plenty of new input from James Webb. Rajendra Gupta, a Canadian researcher, put forward a theory in the summer of 2023 according to which the universe could be 26.7 billion years old or even older. His calculations are based on new findings, Zwicky's idea of tired light, and a variation of the cosmic constants. The design has already been tested and is consistent. However, this does not mean that Gupta has discovered the truth. We will only find it through observation. Imagine James Webb is still showing us older galaxies and even more impossible things. We may soon look back 14 billion years and see a universe that looked exactly like it does today. This would mean that the Big Bang was even further back or that it never happened. What is certain is that all new findings from real observations take us a step further. For almost 100 years, observations such as black holes and galaxy dynamics have largely confirmed the old physics, but now everything is different and a time of upheaval has begun. Our physics is stuck on several levels, and this could be the solution. Microcosm and Macrocosm – Something is wrong here. What hardly anyone knows is that physics is currently reaching the limits of the impossible at almost all dimensions. Astrophysics has reached its limits with these galaxies and very old and gigantic black holes. In the world of the smallest particles, researchers know no further. At the very latest, the small particles become so unpredictable beyond Heisenberg's uncertainty limit that we can no longer grasp them. Researchers working on the current structure of the large-scale universe are also at a loss. The more we look at it, the less the patterns and structures fit with the ideas of the Big Bang and expansion. But what does this all mean? We are at an exciting threshold where completely new things will be revealed in the microcosm, in the macrocosm, and at the beginning of our universe. It has long been known that the physics of the largest phenomena cannot be reconciled mathematically and empirically with the findings of quantum physics. But quanta are also the building blocks of stars, planets, and galaxies. If these two disciplines do not fit together, it's not because there is something wrong with our universe. The researchers simply do not know where the connections and errors are. The current crisis can be a huge opportunity for science but some gray eminences of astrophysics will certainly have to step down now. Will the researchers come to a consensus? It's crazy. Scientists are arguing about being right and whether they can stick to theories that have never been concretely proven by observations. No one has ever really seen the Big Bang or the universe expand. James Webb is now showing us a bit more of the truth, and it's actually unbelievable that scientists are protesting and continuing to defend their obviously false theories. The scenario is somewhat reminiscent of the Middle Ages when Galileo Galilei ended up in church prison because he had observed that the Earth revolved around the Sun. But there is also good news. Young researchers such as Harvard doctoral student Rohan Naidu are rejoicing at the new facts. There is a community of young or even older and open-minded astronomers and cosmologists for whom the old explanations have long been inadequate. Naidu used his algorithm to discover some of the oldest galaxies on James Webb's depth image. As soon as the depth image had been released by NASA, Naidu fed his computer with the data and shortly afterwards the sensation was perfect. The galaxy Glass C13 came to an age of 13.6 billion years using the old calculations for the red light shift. This means that it already existed 200 million years after the supposed Big Bang. And since this galaxy must be at least several hundred million, if not two to three billion years old, something can't be right here. The discovery was the prelude to the crisis. The red shift was doubted. James Webb's technique was scrutinized. Naidu's results were questioned but the age of the galaxy was confirmed several times over. The James Webb Space Telescope brings down the house of cards. Michio Kaku is the most popular astronomer in the USA, and he was beaming at the findings. Kaku is one of the few people who seriously try to bring quantum physics and astrophysics together, and he sums it up. 
James Webb is now finally bringing down the inconsistent house of cards of astrophysics. Nobody had expected this shock, because many of the old scientists were firmly expecting James Webb to confirm their theories. So will science find a consensus or not? It must, because the universe does not lie. Currently, many of the new findings and studies are going through peer review processes where scientists submit their research findings for evaluation by other experts in the same field. Possible errors are identified here, and reviews often lead directly to ingenious further developments and new ideas. We can be sure that research will be more cautious in the future about what is presented to us as the truth. The heresy of the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago is embarrassing enough. Sir Roger Penrose, the British astrophysicist and Nobel Prize winner, warned in view of the new situation that we must go back to the point where we have reliable data and observations. Ultimately, this means that all theories based on dark matter must go because we don't know whether it really exists. This means that the entire previous cosmology will collapse and the universe will be completely reassessed. Can Euclid prove dark matter after all? Let's take a moment to look at another brand new but somewhat quieter astronomy star in the night sky. Euclid has been positioned in space since 2023 and has a special mission. Euclid is to produce the best map of the known universe we have ever had. James Webb is designed to focus specifically on individual points, galaxies, planets, or far into the distance. Euclid's mirrors, on the other hand, work in such a way that the telescope captures broad areas and maps the entire cosmos visible from Earth. This new data should prove, among other things, the existence of dark matter and the dynamics of the equally hypothetical dark energy or not. If researchers find no evidence for their existence in Euclid's data, it will once again be a close call for all those scientists who firmly believed in the existence of these two variables. Press the subscribe button now. The best videos are yet to come.